What's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman and today we're down here at the honey hole at a golf course pond and this is actually the same exact pond that I got rushed by that gator a few weeks ago. Can you go away? We're not, we're not here to play games. All right, chill. Oh. <laughs> Get away. Woo! That gator was coming after me. <laughs> And since then, it's been removed, and we shouldn't have any trouble with pesky reptiles today. But anyways, we're on the boat, so even if there are uh, some gators hanging around, we're not going to have to deal with them. But anyways, we are doing some frog fishing today, and we're going to do a lot of it. We got four different kinds of frogs. We got a traditional frog. We got a traditional popping frog. We got a lunker hunt frog that's like a traditional frog, but it's just got like actual frog legs. And we got some soft plastic frogs, but we're going to take each of these baits, and we're going to throw them around this cover. We got brush piles. We got overhead. We got shade and it should be a good day because this pond is loaded with some thick juicy bass and a lot of them And we're gonna take each of these baits and use them for about 25 minutes a piece Put them head to head and see which one outperforms all the others. But anyways We need to start fishing. So let's get started First bait we're going with today is the traditional frog We just got it in this green and black and yellow color I got every single bait in the same color just to try to stay consistent but it's a good looking bait. It's got some long dangly tails and this thing should do the trick. So hold on one second, 25 minutes on the timer, starts now. Here we go. Let's see what this thing can do. See if we can get one on the first cast, that'd be epic. Nothing on the first cast, keep on trying. God, he hit it, but he didn't take it. There we go. First, oh no, we lost him. We lost him, ah, oh, dang it. Okay, all right, well, we're getting action. That's two hits, and it's been about maybe four or five minutes, tops. No, dang it. Oh, I had no angle to set that hook. <laughs> ah, that's frustrating. There we go. There we go. Finally, we got a fish on the line and hooked up, at least I hope, decently well, and he's in the boat. Thank goodness. All right, all right. I knew we'd probably have a little bit of hookup problems with these frogs today, but this one sinked right there in the top of the mouth and he wasn't going anywhere about 10 minutes to get the first fish in the boat and here she is not a giant but a decent start chunky little bass for the size but about mm, i'd say about a pound and a half but we're gonna get her back in the water because we are on a timer today and we want to fish as much as we can with each bait good fish let's keep it going later my dude Oh, dang it. That fish even came back for it. It wasn't that big, hardly big enough to get the frog in its mouth. <laughs> he missed it once, it came right back for it. Let's see if he wants it a third time. Nope. Well, we're getting bites, we just need to hook up a little bit more. There we go. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Do not come off. And, oh no! God, I jinxed myself on that. Ah! Running the boat, that's unfortunate. I swear, I jinxed myself so much on this channel. There's been so many times where I've said don't come off and literally a half a second later that fish has come off. Ah, that's frustrating. There we go, fish on, fish on. Fish on, stay down, stay down, stay down. It came right out of that grass, came right out of that grass, stay down. Oh, there goes the timer, perfect timing. Oh yes, hold on, timer, turn that off. Oh, he's got it good in his mouth. I don't see him going anywhere except the boat. Let's get it, woo! 
absolutely choked down this throat. This bass swamped that frog. How clutch, right as the timer goes off too. Uh, he was not hooked very well. Pretty much, if I let go of pressure, he would have been gone. This clutch last second bass is definitely better than the first one. Uh, probably about two, two and a half pounds. Good looking fish, nice colors. Filled out pretty well, but we're gonna go ahead and get this girl back in and keep on moving down the frog list. We're going to the poppin' frog next. Nice bass. The traditional frog definitely proved its worst with the last second fish, and it did pretty well. I think we had three fish, one got off right of the boat, and then another three or four blow ups. Not too bad, not too bad, but on to the popping frog. And this is my personal favorite style of like frogs, topwater frogs, is just a traditional frog with a little popper on the front. I like the little bit of extra action and sound it makes. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. 25 minute timer starts now. And let's see if we can prevail on this first cast. Right where that last fish came from. Out of this little grass mat. Nothing on the first cast, but it's just gonna take a second to get started. I'm sure we'll have one in the boat here in a minute for y'all. Oh my God, Ugh, that was a good sized bass, but he just mouthed it like, Almost the entire bait was hanging out of his mouth. I was trying to give him a second to like bring it all the way in. And I just watched him go down with that and he just never sucked it all the way in. That sucks. He just came up and lipped it. There we go. That bass came up and crushed it. Oh my goodness. I saw him wake from a quite a ways away to come up and smack that frog. Definitely the best fish of the day right here. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh my goodness, that was an aggressive hit. Come on in the boat, yes sir. Now that's what I'm talking about. They just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Best fish by far, so far. And this fish is probably pushing three, uh, maybe over three. Definitely a good chunky fish, but he waked on that frog so hard the second it hit the water and absolutely crushed it. Let's go ahead and get this girl back in the water. Let's see how we're doing on time first though. We got uh, about five minutes left. So let's go ahead and get her back in and keep on moving. Swim on. Oh, I see a bass working the bank down there. Come on, come on, hit this. Oh, he, he looked at it. Yep, yep, yep. There we go, there we go. I can't believe I saw that fish. I barely saw a silhouette in the water and he was just cruising the bank looking for a snack and I had the right one for him. Come on in here, buddy. Yes. Get that frog out of there. Just a little dink, but I'm gonna throw him right back in real quick. Later, buddy because we only got one minute left. One minute left. All right, hold on. Looks like we're gonna get one more cast down this bank right here, and hopefully something comes out and spanks it, because this timer's gonna go off in about five or 10 seconds. There goes the timer. Turn it off, but we get to at least fish it all the way back to the boat. Nothing. So my little poppin' frog definitely did the trick for us. We caught the biggest fish and a second fish with it. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to this lunker hunt frog. And it's got cool actual frog legs on it. So I've had a lot of luck with these in the past and I'm excited to tie it on. But before we do anything, let's go ahead and do the comment and picture of the day. And little story about this picture. This is Randall, he's one of my subscribers. And this was the very first day he ever tied on a soft plastic frog and he laid the hammer down on that beast of a fish y'all see right there. But funny story, when I tie the soft plastic frog on after this, it's gonna be my first time using a soft plastic frog. So hopefully I have as much luck as Randall. But anyways, let's tie this puppy on and get back to fishing. 25 minutes, starts now, here we go. But to keep the question of the day frog related, what is y'all's favorite frog to throw? Let me know down in the comment section below if you want a chance at being featured on the comment of the day. But uh, my favorite frog, as I said before, is the popping frog. And this longer hunt frog is proven its worth to me. It's probably pretty close up there to the popping frog, um, if I'm gonna be honest. It is an absolute beast and I've had a lot of success with it. So hopefully that trend continues because we just, no, we lost them. Oh, 
that was like the second cast. Dang it. <laughs> oh well, oh well. Okay, okay. As y'all can see, this thing is the beast, and we're about to get started catching these aggressive little bass around this bank. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Two missed fish. <sighs> it's frustrating. It's okay, it's okay. Shake it off, shake it off. There we go, fish on. Fish, nope. Fish off, fish off. <sighs> deep breath, deep breath. There we go. There we go, fish on. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh, that's not down, that's in the air. And in the boat, in the boat, in the boat. Yes. And that is a textbook frog hook set right there, right in the top of the roof of the mouth with both hooks. This fish was not going anywhere. Good little dude. I dropped him. Dang it. <laughs> Ah, and on that note, it's probably a good time to start talking about what kind of setup I have for these frog fish today. And that is a 7-1 heavy fast action rod. And what that allows me to do is have plenty of strength and backbone to drive that hook home into the roof of these fish's mouth. And in combination with that, I use this nice strong 40 pound braid. And what that allows me to do is have plenty of strength to not snap my line when I set the hook or around stumps or branches when these fish hook up in heavy cover and it has no stretch, which means that hook is only going one place and that is straight up and into the roof of these fish's mouth when they bite it and I set the hook. So hopefully that was a little bit of food for thought for y'all and y'all can use it and take it home and try it yourself. But anyways, let's get another bass on here. And there goes the timer. Unfortunately, we only got one fish on the lunker hunt. I'm gonna take one more cast just to make sure there isn't one more fish sneaking around out here. Okay, that's it for the lunker hunt. On to the soft plastic. And last but not least, we got the Zoom soft plastic frog just rigged up with a five odd extra wide gap super line hook. And let's go ahead and start this timer. 25 minutes starts now. I'm excited to get this thing in the water and see how the action is. First cast. Oh, I like this a lot. It's very similar to like a almost like a, a buzz bait action or like a whopper plopper action. Those paddle tails on the back just make a lot of a lot of ruckus. So I like that off the bat, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna have pretty good luck getting bites on this. What I am concerned about is actually getting the fish in the boat and there we go first fish <laughs> uh, not too much concern <laughs> what i was worried about was the hook sets but uh seems like we're doing pretty good off the bat because this hook seemed to be uh not that well in the or it didn't seem to like have a lot of movement in the bait as well i was trying to say like there wasn't a lot of space for that hook to move uh, if you set the hook and to go into this fish's mouth, but it did the trick right there right out the gate Solid fat little bass. Well, I'm glad that took absolutely no time at all Oh, let's go. I should have uh, probably not waited till this point in my life to throw a soft plastic frog Look at this right out of the gate. I can't complain. Let's keep it going There he goes Yep, there we go. Okay, this thing has no problem hooking fish. That is for sure. I don't know why I was concerned because so far, so good. And these fish have been hooked really well. That's what I'm talking about. As you can see, absolutely no problem with that hook set right through the roof of the mouth. He was going nowhere. The soft plastic frog might outperform all these today. I mean, it's, how long has it been? Five minutes. And we got two fish. There we go. Yes. Peace out. 
You know, I'm having a good day catching bass and I'm feeling generous. So let's give away a $20 Tackle Warehouse gift card right now. But if you're new to the channel, every single week I do this, I give away a free $20 Tackle Warehouse gift card code to one of y'all lucky viewers. And the best way to win this is one, be subscribed and two, have bell notifications on because it is a first come first serve basis. The fastest people to click on the video and find the code are going to win this 20 bucks. But I gotta do it differently this week because last week, Y'all shut down Tackle Warehouse for typing in the code too fast. So from now on, I have a Gmail, ftfgiveaways at gmail.com. And I'm going to post a word. It's going to be obvious in a video once per week. And I want y'all to take that word and send it to that Gmail. And the first person that I get an email from with that word is going to be sent back 20 bucks from to Tackle Warehouse. So here is the first word now. May the best man win. But if you like this, go ahead and smash that like button because it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and all that stuff and helps me make more content and reach more of y'all. But anyways, let's keep on fishing. There we go. Oh no. Oh, it came back. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come, go hit it again, hit it again, hit it again, hit it again. Oh my goodness. Dang, I didn't get it. I wasn't able to get a good hook. Oh, can't talk. I wasn't able to get a good hook set on that fish because that branch. There we go. Fish on, fish on. I saw that fish come up and smoke that thing. Let's go. Let's go. Stay down, stay down. It is a decent sized one too. Come on in here. Get in the boat. Let's go. Now that is more like it for some size for the soft plastic frog. I can't lie guys, I've been very impressed with the results from this thing. These fish are crushing it and I've been having really good hook sets with it. But I'm going to go ahead and get this fish back in the water. Here we go. Next cast. Next cast. Let's go. The soft plastic frog is delivering. Come on in here, buddy. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I was trying to get my finger around the foot of his mouth so I could hold that fish up for y'all. But he's off. So shortly after that fish, I actually ran out of time, but I have to give it to the soft plastic frog today. It outperformed all the frogs in all the categories. It caught the most fish, it had the best hookup ratio, and it had the most accurate cast. It had really nice weight to make really tight, accurate casts. But anyways, if you want to go the extra mile for me, go ahead and smash that like button because it really does help me out a lot and subscribe and turn bell notifications on. But as always, Bass in his passion, peace. Out.